Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Day 7 of Mother's Day Cards with the Cricut. Today's cartridge we will be using is the Paper Lace Cartridge. And today's card we will be making is, or looks like this. Now this card is what is known as a center step card. When the card sits up, it has two little steps on the side. And then you have your center. So, come on and join me, and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay, everybody, so I'm going to bring up the supplies, and we're going to get started on card number seven. Now, this is actually my second time recording this video, because the first time I made this card, I didn't make it the correct way. So, I had to pull everything apart and remake the card again so I'm gonna go over the measurements now I found out about this card from Patty whose YouTube channel is PK pen and I will put a link up here in the video to her video so what I've done is I made myself a template so I can give you the measurements of how this card works. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of paper or I'm sorry, cardstock. And your cardstock is going to measure five and a half by 11. And you'll put your paper in your paper trimmer the long way, which is the 11 inch side. And you're going to cut in one inch from the edge to six and a half inches. So you'll have a cut that looks like this. And then you'll flip your paper over and go from the one inch edge of the paper in one inch and you will start or put your paper trimmer at the one inch and go all the way down to six and a half. So then you'll end up with a cut that looks like this. And I'm going to bring up the paper trimmer real quick and show you what I mean. So you'll put your paper at the one inch mark on your trimmer. And then you'll start from at the edge of the paper and go down to here. But do not cut in here. You want to put your trimmer mark on the one inch and then go all the way down to six and a half inches and stop. So you'll do that on both sides. And then on the five and a half inch side, you're going to come in two inches. Stop. Wait. I'm sorry. That's wrong. And then you're going to cut from the edge to the one inch mark. So you're actually cutting to that slit that you made right here. And you'll score that. Do not cut it. You're just scoring. You won't be doing any more cutting. And then you'll come down at the end and do the same thing. Go from the cut to the edge, scoring two inches in. And then what you'll do is you'll move your paper down to the five and a half inch mark. And this time you're going to score from the middle cut or in the middle. So you'll go and put your paper trimmer at right at the cut edge and go to the next cut edge. And just score back and forth. And then your last score will be at six and a half inches. And you're going to score from the edge to the cut, which would be one inches in on this side. And you'll do the same thing on that side. Now, I didn't actually go ahead and do this a video on how to do the card itself with the cutting and the, the um, scoring. Patty does explain that very well. 
But if I get enough requests, I will go back and actually do it, showing you how to do it with the paper trimmer. It's just that it was a lot of steps, and I got a little confused, and I ended up making the card, and then once I got it all together, I realized it wasn't actually a stair-step card. So I've already done all my scoring and my cutting, and as you can see, it looks like this when you take it. Here's your score marks, your two inch, your five and a half, your six and a half, and your one inch. And you basically will just fold your two inch down, your one inch up, and your card folds like so. So the other thing that I've done is I've gone ahead and inked my edges using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And I'm using the Wild Honey. And I've also taken my Victorian Cuddlebug folder and I ran that just along on the edges. So basically what I did with the folder was I opened up my card and I stuck the folder in between here and then I just ran it through the cuddle bug just so I would have it on just those two side pieces there so I'm going to fold this back so now we'll talk about adding our top embellishments so in between here your piece measures three and a half by four and a half so that's how much that piece is right there so what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut a piece of cardstock for my bottom layer that is three by four. And I've already put this together. And like I said before, I made this card once before, but I had this piece incorrect. So I pulled it up and started again. So my bottom layer here measures, like I said, three by four. And then the next piece measures see I'm sorry the bottom layer is three and a quarter by four and a quarter and then my next layer which is the flowered paper that piece measures three by four and that is actually from the paper lace two cartridge and it is on page 28 and it's the lace one shadow so you can cut it using your paper lace two cartridge or you can just cut a piece of cardstock three by four. Now I'll show you what key that is on the gypsy. So what you'll do is you're going to hit your lace one shadow button and then key number eight which is just basically a square. So remember that if you don't have the Georgian Basic and you're looking for a cartridge that has a square on it, if you have the Paper Lace 2, you can use that. So now the actual top layer or my lace layer is also from that cartridge. And what you'll do to get that is you're going to hit your Lace 1 label and then you're going to hit key number 8. And it looks like this. So now, the lace piece was cut at, and I had my real dial size on and my aspect ratio off to cut this piece. It is, the width is two and three quarters, and the height is three and three quarters. So I've gone ahead and cut that out using some DCWV cardstock, and it is the flower shower spring glitter matte stack and it's just full of glitter paper and the way I got this to cut on the Cricut is I made sure I had a very sticky mat that's the key or a brand new mat and then the other thing I did was I took my brayer and rolled it back and forth over the paper to make sure that the paper would stay stuck down while the Cricut was cutting. So that's the key to getting the fine intricate cut as well as cutting glitter. Now I did not use my deep cut blade when I cut this and I had my 
pressure on medium and my blade was on five and as far as the speed the gypsy cuts at its own speed so I've already got my tape on the back of here because like I've said I've made this card before and then I've taken my Martha Stewart butterfly punch which looks like this and I punched the butterfly to go in the center so basically what I'm going to do is before we put this on I also want to put well maybe we'll put this on first so let's do that I'm gonna put just a little bit more tape on the back of here even though I do have some tape on there but since I pulled it up from the first card we're gonna just add some more tape on here and then I'm gonna just lay this down like so and then I'm gonna press all the way around make sure it adheres and I was very surprised I got this up off the other card without tearing it because I expect it I'm just gonna pop my butterfly up a little bit so now the last thing I'm gonna add before I add my bling is I've cut out this die cut and it is from the uh, let's see edge abilities um, by spellbinders and I just recently picked these up they're interchangeable you get three of them and I have taken just some of the cardstock that I use for my bottom layer and die cut at this and then I took the wild honey ink and went ahead and colored that in so this is still pretty sticky but I'm just gonna go ahead and just add just a little bit of the two-way zig pen along here on the edge and I was able to get this piece up as well so in this situation I used the Tombow for this one but I was actually really surprised I was able to get this piece up because I did use the ATG gun so I'm just gonna press that down with a lot of pressure so basically that's it this is our stair step card that looks like this so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my bling and then I'll come back with the finished card okay so I am back with the finished card so I've gone ahead and I've added my bling down here at the bottom and then along the side here I've decided to place some pearls and then I put some bling in the middle of the butterfly and so for my inside sentiment I've just stamped taken two stamps and put them together and one of them says celebrate your special day and then the happy Mother's Day and then over here I've added a flower that is from an Inca Dinka Do set and I believe it looks like this and the name of the stamp set is see floral expressions and then also I've taken and colored and I stamped it using the vintage photo for the flower and the inside sentiment is stamped with the wild honey and I've taken and colored my flower in using my Yasutomo watercolor paints and then I've added a leaf bling over here on the side so that's it everybody this is day number seven of my Mother's Day cards with the Cricut. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. And don't forget to come back. We'll be doing the last card, which is day number eight.